But among the many emotions that they exhibited last night were pettiness. What do we say, Big Perk? Do we stay petty? We gotta stay petty so you don't have to get petty. <laughs> I like it. And, and that's exactly what the feeling was last night. In fact, I take you back to March. There was a game in which the Grizzlies Ooh. beat Golden State by 28 points. None of the Warriors' big three played. Uh, Memphis's young star Jaron Jackson Jr. tweeted strength in numbers after that game. You think Klay Thompson didn't notice? Listen to this. Strength in numbers is alive and well. <laughs> I can't wait. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing. Freaking bum. That, I had to watch that. I'm just like, this freaking clown. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. That memory just popped up. You're going to mock us? Like, you ain't ever been there before, bro. We've been there. We know what it takes. So to be here again, hold that. All right, so Clay not holding back. And unfortunately, Big Perk, you too got a little bit of the shrapnel last night. Steph Curry also had receipts referencing this clip from First Take last summer. I hate to say this right now, but to be honest with you, I don't see the Golden State Warriors bringing home another championship. Y'all go sit on first take. You and Dominique Foxworth are going to sit on first take and say that Steph Curry will not be in the conversation for a championship yeah. in the yeah. next four yeah. years. Um, clearly remember some experts and talking heads putting up the big zero of how many championships we would have going forward because of everything that we went through, so. My goodness, they noticed this stuff. I mean, big perk, well, 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 what? Well, well, one, I appreciate them watching. That's the first thing. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate go. them watching. Talk That's one it. thing. But listen, it's okay. And guess what? You have to accept it. But players use this as motivation. And I told you, look, when I was with the 2008 Celtics and we won it in 08, Rasheed Wallace, before the season, he said, y'all already crowning these guys. They don't have a point guard or a center. Soon as we won it, that's the first thing I thought about. It. And it's okay. Look, Jaron Jackson Jr., you're going to have to eat that. It's okay. But you should use it as motivation to try to get you some hardware in the future. Yeah. Like Trey Young did. Trey Young tweeted out and said, now I want to go out there and win the championship. That's what it should do, motivate it. But as far as them being petty, I'm all for it because I'd be petty too. Listen, I gotta, I'm with you, Big Perk, because I hit one of these on the championship window being closed, and here we are. But I'm gonna own that too. This is part of why we love the NBA, right? Like, there's this personalities, there's personas, there's trash talks. NBA Twitter is one of the most undefeated places in general. So this is great to me. I think this, and this is also this era of athletes. Funny story, before our game four interview or game five interview with Steph, he asked me, he was like, where were you in Boston? Because he saw the live shots from Get Up in yeah. the morning. And I was like, oh, we were, on, like, I had to think about what we were talking about that day. So they are absolutely watching all the time. It, it's just remarkable. And, and may, I think it's also, not only is it fun, mm -hmm. but it's also a, a really interesting insight into the mindset, the psychology that it takes. Because it's easy for me sitting here, not ever having been a world-class athlete, obviously, to say, you're Steph Curry, for crying out loud. Ooh, Why yeah, would it yeah. bother you so much that someone is predicting, you're not, whether it's you, someone that matters, or me, <clears throat> someone who's just offering an opinion, it's just an opinion. Yep. I didn't think they were going to win. They did. Good for you. You proved us wrong. But the fact that it matters that much, it just goes but to show you what burns inside there. It, it, it do, Greeny. And then guess what? When you have accomplished so much in your career, like Steph Curry, like Draymond Green, and won three championships, you got to find more motivation to go out there and prove God, people wrong. And whether it's me, whether it's you, mm -hmm. whether it's Monica, if they're going to use us as motivation, well, hell, have at it. Because guess what? He's making me famous. <laughs> well, look, uh, Dominique Foxworth. Engagement. <laughs> Engagement. <laughs> Our buddy Neek was also in that clip, you know, also holding up the little uh -huh. zero. And, and, and so he noticed, and he responded this morning on Twitter as well. He said, looks like I'm going to be in episode four of the Steph Curry career retrospective, Doc. Congrats to Steph. Look, we all give our opinion. That's what we do for a living. We right. do it in real time. Sometimes we're right. Sometimes we're wrong. It's their job to go out there and accomplish what they've accomplished, and they did. To me, the most meaningful petty in all this is Manny Petty, but that's just me <laughs> one way or the other. Anyway, the point... Dad uh, joke. Happy Father's Day this weekend. It does come back. <laughs> sure, sure, right. It was that bad. The, the, <laughs> the larger point, however, that should be made is this. Some of the questions that were being asked, I don't think it was criticism, some of the questions that were being asked were completely legitimate oh, in the absolutely. time, in the moment they were being but asked. See, they answered them. 
last night. That's the point. Steph, can he do this? It yes. wasn't a known because he I'm, hadn't. Now he did it. I'm with you, Grady, because look, you they won the first title. Then they blew it. They were 73 and 9, blew a 3-1 lead to the Cleveland Cavaliers, had to go recruit Kevin Durant to win up their other two titles. Yeah, it was question marks there, and rightfully so. It was warranted. And so they answered those questions. Like you said, look, my facts change, my opinions change based on facts. Right. The That's effect, how I live. The facts change, though, too, first. <laughs> right. yeah. I, said, well, I the thought facts those questions changed. were overblown. The, 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 he may have inadvertently said the right thing. The facts yeah. changed. Steph had never done X, Y, and Z. Now he has. I thought those questions, personally, were a little bit overblown. Uh, I, I, the finals MVP definitely cements Steph's legacy, but when we talk about game changers with or without that trophy, Steph is in no, that category. No, but we weren't talking about game changers, we um, about? Uh, Monica. We was talking about him cracking the top 10 all-time list. And in order to crack that list and to move people out you of them, that hardware, you gotta saying. have the finals MVP. I, Not only that, okay. I think it is completely legitimate to say that little hiccup in, 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 of time, the perfect storm in NBA collective bargaining that allowed Kevin Durant to join a 73-win team that completely <laughs> turned the NBA upside down for a short period of time, and as we said at the time, was a terrible thing for the league, and it was just an unavoidable thing. Those titles don't feel the same. This one feels different for Steph. This one is his. The great ones need a championship that's theirs. This one is his, no ifs, ands, or buts. And there's no arguing that. He said it himself. This one hits different, and I don't think we see that that emotion if this one does not feel different. I just think in an era where we see hired mercenaries moving all around the league, Steph has been true blue, gold-blooded to the Warriors, and I don't know that he got enough credit for staying there and inviting people. It's not his fault if KD want to come play with him. We, no. They recruited him. Now, let's not act like he they didn't, didn't move. Say, All I'm saying let's is Let's not act move. like they didn't take a meeting down there. I believe it was in the Hamptons. It was in the Hamptons. I mean, okay, so, but I'm just saying. Okay, oh, all right, we just, you know. all right. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.